Yes, lads, I have just unlocked the team this season, MVS. So just before I do start, if you could drop a like, boys. We'll go with we'll go with 40 likes, boys. Drop some if you do. Hopefully this review does help, boys. If you want me to do a review on any of the players, I might do the team this season, Dembele as well, to review as well. Uh, I don't think a lot of you guys will care about him. But anyway, we're going to redeem the team this season, MVS. We'll have a look what Kemsal's putting in. We'll have a look. Uh, best position and stuff like that. I've not actually looked at his work rates at all. Um, I like the, um, I like his dynamic image. I think he looks good. Um, obviously, looking at off his base stats, he looks decent. But uh, you have to look at his in games really to know. So straight away, medium, medium isn't the best. Isn't the best at all, really. Especially if you're going to play him CDM. Um, as a centre mid, not too bad. Um, but three star, three stars. Well, not a huge issue, but. Um, Obviously, could be better. Six foot, which is probably just about the right height. So he's got some physical presence. So holy shit, his physical presence is sick. Eight o'clock p.m. Brilliant. There we go. Fucking interrupt me, bitch. Uh, anyway, um, physicals: eighty-one jumping, ninety-three stamina, eighty-six strength, ninety-five aggression. That's probably standouts, which is sick. The only downside I've seen to this card is he's not going to turn the greatest. Eighty agility, seventy-two balance. But to be fair, I do have uh, I do have Emmanuel Petit. He's got similar agility and balance, and. Uh, and Petit's one of my favourite midfielders on the game, so uh, we'll give him a try anyway. In terms of the chem style, um, what are we saying? He's got unreal interceptions and stuff like that. I might boost his defending. Dribbling and defending, maybe. Or pace and defending. Let's see what we've got. Let's go redeem him. Um, I think first game, I'm going to try him out as a centre mid and a CDM, boys. Uh, I'll play two games like I usually do. So. Let me. These are I, these are the two players I use for the league at home. By the way, that flashback Danny Alves. I, I put Danny Alves in cam, and uh, it worked pretty well. I did it in four games, and then corner. I think he ended up scoring one goal for me. Sub. I had these as subs just in case. But anyway, let's go see what Kemsal we've got. Is it Guardian? I think it's a Guardian. Um, the boost pace. Uh, no, not pace. Defending and dribbling. Not sure. I might be glad here. Chem style. D dribbling. Where's dribbling? Dribbling and defending. Yeah, here we go. Guardian. So you could go with a pace boost, but personally, I'm, I'm alright with having, like, I think he's got 83 acceleration. I'm going to go with Guardian, boys, because I want to get that agility and balance up, and I want to get his defending up even more. Uh, so that already boosts his agility up too, actually. In fact, I don't actually. I think probably a shadow, you know. Yeah, I, if he's not going to boost his agility and balance up by that much, then just go with the, just go with a shadow. Personally, I'm not going to do it because I don't know if I'm going to carry on using him or not, and I don't want to waste a shadow. But uh, if you guys want to use that, then go for it. Uh, anyway, let me go back to my normal team. I'll have to sub him on. Uh, special right back. But anyway, boys, uh, if you could drop a like, that'd be sick. 40 likes would be sick. Drop us up if you do. If you've got any comments, like I know, like like I said, um, if you've got any other players I want you want me to review. Uh, Stats me and then uh, yeah boys let's get into the first game see how it goes Right okay boys so first game I'm going to play him in a 4-4-2 who I'll sub off Gerard uh, I'm going to play him in a 4-4-2 um, as a centre mid so we're going to play it matching with Petit He might be best off with a, an agile midfielder I'm not too sure um, Maybe second half I'll keep the same formation and put Bernardo Silva as a centre mid and match him with an agile uh, midfielder as well. But anyway, we'll start off with this. Petit and MV are in midfield. And then second game, we'll go with him as CDM. So let's see how he plays, boys. Where is he? MV. Right, first glimpse of MV. He do not feel as, uh, as hard to turn as I thought. Um, he got a lot of physical presence. The only problem is with him is he's not a very fun card to use. Three star, three star, medium, medium. And he's just not the, the most fun card to use. And Veer into Petit. Give him back. It's a nice ball out wide to Anderson. Richarlison to Anderson. How is he offside there? Right, there we go, boys. Half time. Um, so far, I am not a fan, really. I think so far, um, it's, it's quite early to judge. It's only first half. I'm going to try him as a CDM as well, but personally, he's definitely going to go into an SBC so far. Um, at this stage of FIFA, especially when I'm not really tried and I'm just 
sort of chilling in low divisions, just don't play for a chance. Um, I want to use fun players, and this guy's just not fun at all. Three star, three star, dead work rates. On the ball, he do not feel as stiff as I thought, but he just doesn't, I don't know, he's such a boring player. Like, if someone said he was an 81 rated, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really know the difference between an 88 and an 81, but so far, um, yeah, not the best, not the best. He's not the worst of players, just not a very fun card to use. But anyway, we're going to the second half. Hopefully he can have more of an impact. I've not really got many highlights for this game. Uh, we'll see what he can do. Uh, but we'll try him as a CDM next game as well. I did, right, a good example of him. I don't know if you guys have ever used Casemiro on this game. But he feels very similar to Casemiro. Um, not the best. Not the best. Get there bro. Nice. To Anderson. Anderson. I should never go in orange time, but every every what I will say is my 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 opinion stays the same in terms of I think he's gonna go into an SBC. Uh, again, I'll try him CDM next game. I'll play another game with him because I want to give him a tryout as as a CDM. Uh, if you do play him as a centre mid though, he does play a lot better in a four and two and two narrow. He gets involved a lot more. Um, one thing I will say though is medium medium work rates. I don't know. Um, not the best work rates for a midfielder. I will say, is he gonna quit? I think he's put his mate on. Nice interception again by Envia there, actually. Dreadful pass from fucking Envia. Go on, Envia. You're in, bro. Oh, I wanted it. Oh, I wanted that fucking passing inside, man. Oh, read that perfect. Read that perfect. Here's Envia. To Petit. Back to Envia. Bernardo Silva, give it him back. He can do the step overs. God, I'm overplaying with him here. I wouldn't usually play like this with him. So I want nice MV, another good interception. Hold your line, MV. And I get. Oh, I should have won that. Here's MV though. He keeps getting in space, man. I'm telling you. It's a great ball through to Richarlison. We're going to go low driven. And there we go. He gets himself an assist. I will say, bro, he's, he has, he has uh, he's grown on me a lot. In a 4 2 2 narrow, 4 1 2 2 narrow, he has grown on me a lot. He, he gets gets involved a lot more. He's been winning the ball a lot in centre mid in this narrow formation as well. As a 4 4 2, especially with Petit next to him. Two like, big, bulky centre mids. I'm not a fan. Maybe he works better with agile players. I don't know, but... In a narrow formation, he does work a lot better. And this guy's pausing in the 91st minute. What is he doing? Is he going to sit for another 34-second pause? I beg he fucking doesn't. Right, okay, boys. Here we go. We're going to take off Gerard again. We're going to match him with Petit. In fact, that what if I if I remind myself in the second half, I'm going to uh, I'll take off Petit and I'll match him with the. An Agile centre mid as well. Uh, an Agile CDM, I mean. An Agile CDM. Fuck me, I can't speak. Um, so we, do, we have two bulky CDMs at the minute, but we'll see how he does with uh, with Petit and CDM. He might work really good in CDM with Petit. We'll, we'll see. I'll be interested to see what his positioning is like as well. Well, see, seeing though he's got medium, medium. See if he sits back and stuff like that. I've got to stay back while attacking on him. Nice so far. Hello? Hello? Oh, that's a great header. MV. Absolutely towers over him there. For a nice option. He's quite pushed up here. But he's... Nice option into Bernardo Silva. Fuck. Probably should have done better. Right, so this is one thing I will show you. I've not dragged him out of position at all. He's manually gone up that far. I don't know if you saw where my, uh, where MV was positioned there, but he did push up quite a lot. And this is what I'm talking about with his medium, medium. I'm not sure with him at CDM, man. I think medium, medium as a, as a, as a centre mid isn't too bad. But as a CDM, you're going to see him push up a lot. Fuck. MV it. It's nice. He's keeping the ball well.
Nice Batiste, a great touch. Envia. Envia! Yep, maybe don't shoot with him. I don't know what his long shots are, and I probably wasn't in the best position there, but still, I probably would not fucking shoot with him. Aerial Jewel. Good head. Envia, spread it wide. Absolutely, look at that. Put in the strings, boys. Give it him back. Okay. Carlison. Nana Silva. Give it him back. To Envia. Give it to the striker. I released that ages ago. It's a Nana Silva. Fuck. Right, there we go then, boys. Half time whistle goes. Uh, my initial thoughts on him as CDM. If you don't mind him pushing up a little bit, he doesn't push up loads. But if you don't mind him pushing up, he's going to push up with medium, medium. He's, he's, he's going to push up. Um, I noticed, noticed he does get out of position quite a bit. Petit does sit back. So if, you want one, if you've got one player that's going to sit back for your one player that you want to go forward. The only thing with him going forward is he's not actually got the best fucking going forward kind of stats. Like he, he doesn't feel that good on the ball. Um, but what I'm going to do is I have remind, reminded myself. I'm going to play, fuck it, we'll play Gaia, an agile player next to him. We'll see what he plays like with an agile player next to him. We'll see if he's any better. But so far, I prefer him by mile as a centre mid. Because personally, um, I don't know. I feel like he gets in better positions uh, as a centre mid. Especially in the form 22 now. But let's see how he does with Gaia CDM. Gaia. Just give it him. Give it him back. Look already, man. Pulling, pulling the strings. Here's Gaia. Love that animation. Gaia back to Envia. Lovely player. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Holy shit. Keep it going. One touch. To Envia. Envia. Keep it going. Oh. Danny Alves. Oh. Oh. Okay. Absolutely, you could not get more of a gifted goal. In, uh, I'm aiming forward with my header and it literally goes fucking completely left. Oh, it's nice. Nice of you here to give them a goal. Nice. Only way he scores is off a fucking gift. Alright, I need to go. I'm, I'm going to stop abusing MB and actually try and fucking score now. There we go. <laughs> Didn't take long. In fact, stamp the ground as well. Fuck it. We haven't done a stamp the ground this time. Um, but boys, CDM, I wouldn't really recommend. I would say um, definitely is an outside centre mid if you're going to use him. Uh, for me personally, I'm probably being a bit hard on him because my midfield, my midfield three, when, when I play with my full full team, is Bernardo Silva at Cam, the 94 team of the season. And I've got Gerard and Petit as well in midfield. And I've got, sometimes I've, is it Philippe Anderson? I think I sometimes I have Philippe Anderson playing centre mid. Because I like playing the 4 2 2 narrow. So, obviously, for any centre mid, it's going to be hard to get in my midfield. So, maybe I'm being a bit hard on him. So, if you've got, like, a lot less good midfield than me, I don't know, you might you might fucking love him. I do think he's, he's best position is centre mid, though. I will say that. Bury him. Bury him. As soon as I try, man, these fuckers get buried. Stamp it again. Richarlison. Tell you, this Richarlison card as well is sick as a striker. Nice one too. Okay, nice La Croquette. La Croquette or whatever the fuck you call it. Richarlison, chip the keeper, just do it. And then, sh then bite your thumb. Bite, bite your thumb. Bite it. Nice. Halfway line. Dab. Dab. Okay, don't dab. Right, anyway, boys, it looks like it's going to be um, full time. Hopefully, this is a good enough review for you guys. Um, would I recommend it? We're in June, so I expect a lot of you guys to have really good teams. So, I'm not a huge fan. I really am. Especially as a CDM. His best position, in my opinion, is centre mid, as an outside centre mid in a 4 2 2 to 4 and 2 1 2. I don't think he's the best in a two, two man midfield. I really don't, because he pushes up a lot. But. He's not the most fun card to use either. He really isn't. 8.1 rating. I think, let's have a look at his inception. Tackles won 2 out of 4. In the other game, as a centre mid, he did win a lot of tackles, to be fair. Um, but anyway, boys, hopefully this is a good, good enough review. Please do drop a like. 40 likes will be sick. Drop a sub if you're new. 
And yeah, boys, I think that's going to be it. If you've got any questions, any of the players you want me to review, um, yeah, let me know. And then uh, I'll get it sorted. So hopefully this is a good enough review. Any questions, let me know, boys. And yeah, boys, drop a like, drop a sub, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.